all the words has stayed. And all the men and women, merely players. They have their exits and their entrances. And one man in his time plays many parts. His acts be seven ages. At first, the infant, Eulen and Pukin in the nurse's arms. Then the whiny schoolboy with his satchel and shiny morning face, creeper like snail and wittily to school. And then the lover, sigh like furnace, with a woeful ballad made to his mistress' eyebrow. Then a soldier, full of strange oaths and beaded like the pot, jealous in honor, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the proper reputation, even in the cannon's mouth. And then the justice, in fair round belly with cute cape and light, with eyes of V and bead of formal cut, full of wise souls and modern instances, and so he plays his part. The sixth aid shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon, with spectacle and nose and pouch on sight. His youthful hose, well saved, a word too wide, for his trunk, shunk, and his big manly voice turning again to a childish treble, pipes and whistles in his sound. Last scene of all, that ends this eventful history, is second childishness and mere oblivion. Sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste, sans everything.